In today's video, we are going to talk about a wig sent to me from the wig company. Her name is Promise. She is from the Timeless Collection, and she is a bob. That's straight ahead on someone with gray hair. This wig review is in partnership with The Wig Company. I want to thank The Wig Company for sending me this wig for review today. Did you know that The Wig Company has been helping people find quality and affordable alternative hair for more than 50 years? They do offer brand names such as Aesthetica and Gabor and many others, but they also offer three of their own house brands offering believability beautiful wigs at budget-friendly prices. Okay, so here she is on my head. All that I did was I gave her a good shake. I took one of my Jean Renault combs here and just combed her up like that away from the, the, uh, the cap. Um, and I did... She looked like she was kind of shiny, so I did take some Batiste spray, and I sprayed all over about a minute's worth of Batiste. That's all I can tell you. And she does have some shine, but once I put the Batiste on her, she looks much better. I will go outside and show you uh, what she looks like in natural light. Well, as you can see, she is a traditional bob. She's somewhat layered. I think the color is is very very nice she's got silver she's got white nothing dark nothing rooted just a very believable silver gray color uh, but I think listen this is an affordable series wig this is not a 200 300 400 500 dollar wig I think for the price point it would be a nice addition to your collection you are going to see some a little bit of nesting there at the parting line but you could take care of that you could diffuse that with um, oh a hairband you know one of the square hair bands that we talk about so much I'll show that in a little bit but very very flattering very light very easy to put on the bangs could be worn let me show you. So you can either wear those bangs straight down, or if you wanted that, if you wanted to, you could just scooch them over a little bit to the right or maybe to the left instead of just having straight down bangs. That's up to you. For this price point, I'm looking at the website, fifty dollars. Very affordable and very sweet bob. So you're going to be able to. She's very tuckable. Look at that. You can't even detect. You can't even detect the... I've seen high-end wigs that you could still detect that area right around the ear. So I think that this this is very, very well done. Is it going to be for everybody? Listen, I know if you're used to a lace front wig, this is probably not going to be your wig. But if you're a first-time wig wearer and you're looking to some, for something that, that's going to pretty much look good on everybody, I think this is a really great value. I really do. Let me do a spin for you. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the cap construction for the Promise wig. She is machine made. She's synthetic. She has lots of open wefting. That's going to keep you nice and cool during the summer months. Very, very light in my hand. We'll look at the specs later. Uh, she has, as you can see, a little bit of um, lace material there covering a small amount of permities up at the crown. She has the covered area right there at the hairline with some nicely spliced hair. Those are your underside of the bangs. She has the uh, covered ear tabs with the metal stays. She has the Velcro adjusters. If you need to cinch her in, I'm an average size cap, so we'll see how that goes when I put her on. And she has a also has the covered nape. Okay, so my assessment, my bottom line assessment on this wig is a great find if you're looking for an affordable wig. Light on your head, 
easy to put on right out of the box. You could do a little bit of styling on her, which I will show you in a minute. Very believable. Tuck her behind your ears. Put a headband on her. Certainly if you throw a hat on, baseball hat. Wonderful. Let's do some of that now, shall we? Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is our trusty square hair bands. We love those. And I'll put a link for you below. You can get the square hair bands with a 25% off coupon code. I'll link that. I'll, I'll put that for you below. But look at that. Isn't that sweet? Now, as I said, she does have a little bit of shine, but we're going to take care of that with, with uh, some Batiste, as I said before. You can also maybe wash her two or three times, and that'll help to knock down some of the shine. One thing that I love in the back, look at that. You can't see any wefting whatsoever. Okay, so we've got the square hair band. Take a little comb and, and just maybe put it at the side. Clip her back there. And that comb has gone right into the weft. It really helps it the, uh, the wig feel so much more secure. Not that she didn't feel secure before, but if you're a little worried about the wind carrying your wig, put a comb in there. Nothing's, you're going to feel very, very secure. So we've got one on that side. Or if we wanted to see it on the other side, you could see how I've got my hair tucked there. I love that. I love that little piece of hair coming out there. Or maybe you wanted to put something more up at the top. Again, help obscure, obscure that, uh, that parting space a little bit. Just push her right into the wefts. You could do that. And that absolutely would help. I'm sorry, there's so much shine from coming from the camera. It's so challenging to do these white wigs on any of them the light just plays with them and drives you nuts I'm doing the best I can everybody let's do another let's do a red hair band see how that looks I love these I love these square hair bands especially the the ones that have the little sparkle there I love that the little glitter Now this is really going to, if you're concerned about that parting space, just get yourself one of these fabric headbands. Now I've pulled out some of my hair right here so that you can see if you've got, if you've got hair, your natural hair, now mine's too long to do this, but if you've got some white hair, maybe it's chin length, you could absolutely pull out some of your own bio hair and incorporate that right in. I really truly want to emphasize that it's very difficult with a lot of lights shining on a synthetic wig to not have a ton of shine but you're not going to be walking around with a ring light on you and up lights on you all day long so I think for $49.99 this is a great value, everybody. My sincere thanks to the wig company for sending me this wig today to review for you.